Fee fine. Fee fine. Fi fine. Hey you, my name is Elon. welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. This came in the mail. I do not know how to pronounce it, but that is not important because we're just going to do a short review and hopefully I'll find the link again so I can link it for you guys. Now that I think about it, I should probably make the camera face down even though my table is pretty ugly so I can do the proper type of unboxing. Okay, so here we have the case. I don't know what this barcode is supposed to be, but not that I honestly care very much. We got the manual, which we can toss out right away. We got this cover here's the receiver it's got your typical mini xlr cable here but for setting the channels i guess signal lights on and off runs on your average double a batteries here's the thingamajig itself we'll test it in a second and we have the receiver this is the transmitter this is the receiver on off button uh, ant which is antenna for a better transmission signal. We've got the quarter inch cable here and batteries go in here, triple A's. That's kind of annoying because you have to have two double A's and two triple A's for this to work, but okay. So the manual we threw out actually says that there's supposed to be an adapter which can convert the receiver into the camera, which we don't have here. Luckily, I should have something in my drawer. It's kind of fat, but anyway, I'm planning to use this with my zoom recorder, which can take the quarter inch XLR, I mean the quarter inch line in input. So I won't really need this, but maybe for today we'll try it. Two triple A and a loop plus plus minus I guess it's like this not your highest quality plastic Ugh. okay it closed on battery battery it's flashing okay I have to hold it fifine fee fine okay ah, that turned red so presumably it is now receiving a signal Let's plug in the Mini XLR. So as it turns out, this little adapter thing can't even actually physically fit into my camera. So we're gonna take a zoom, my Zoom H6. I was honestly really hoping I wouldn't have to bother with all these cables and plugging it into separate levels. And like, look, look how this contraption looks right now. So I'm gonna have to find an adapter like the one they have in the picture because it didn't come so I can use it with my camera without the hassle of all this but for testing purposes we're obviously going to go through the trouble okay so now i do believe we are on this new lavalier mic plug it in and see what it sounds like uh, honestly it's it's good i don't hear the nice filling kind of bassiness that this cheap lav gave that only cost two dollars as opposed to this one that cost 25 dollars or so but just the fact that it's wireless makes it worth it because it's, it's so much more convenient to have a bunch of wireless systems as opposed to having a bunch of cables especially when you're interviewing more than two or three people uh, i'm actually gonna you know hide somewhere walk around and see if maybe this window or this wall makes the transmission worse i don't know if you can hear the birdies outside you shouldn't because the lavalier mic only picks up a small diameter around maybe hide the transmitter under a pillow oh, it should be fine so it's 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 interesting i i can say i'm happy with the purchase for now um i guess testing it out in the field will get a better idea of what it looks like um the antenna here is supposed to give you a better transmission but the, the transmission is not a problem the problem is the sound and according to the manual which is something i, I listed through quickly uh, this won't work with any other lav than the one that comes with FIFI. Now, I don't know how that makes any sense because this is a regular micro or mini XLR. So technically I can convert any of the labs I have to go into the transmitter, perhaps improving the sound. I just need an adapter that takes the three and a half millimeter to the mini XLR, but that's something I'll play around with in the future. Well, since we're mic'd up to this right now, I might as well finish the vlog with this, guys. It's a good product, especially for the price. You know, I'm a big fan of budget products because they're usually pretty decent quality, maybe slightly below or on par with things that are a lot more expensive but only cost a fraction of the budget which is awesome eventually if i get rich or like super cool producer guy uh, i can invest in behringers and all those this kind of product from a premium brand is gonna go i don't know 400 500 or more and this for 25 and you get this kind of quality 
I don't hear any noise. I hear a tiny bit of hiss, which is pretty much just the ambience of the room and a perfect transmission signal. I mean, that's amazing. Technology gets better and better, cheaper and cheaper. So I'm becoming a more and more of a fan of that stuff. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Um, thanks for sticking around. I hope you learned something new. I'm gonna see you guys next week. I just have to try this out in the field and see how it works. Maybe the positioning affects the way it sounds. I mean, of course it does. This is obviously a lot better quality, but you can't attach it to people's lips, like pinch it to their nose and say, okay, now speak. Okay, I'm speaking.